You're talking to Richard Simmons. It's kissing. It really no, I'm answering Richard the Simmons. phones here because one person's in the bathroom. She's putting makeup on. And so they said, get Bruce the phone, Richard, so I got it. Uh, are you calling about the fire? Right. He's can we, can to we talk help to you Richard? Do, can we yeah. talk? Can we help you do anything? He's calling to talk to you. Oh. <laughs> See? God, now I'm a little. Uh, so hi. Do you have a question for Richard? Yeah, I got a question. I work twelve hours a day, six days a week, and I need energy. This is my you work, problem. You work twelve hours a day, six days a week. Have an affair with the rich woman. <laughs> and work less. You know, so we yeah, all have, have a, seriously, but the thing is, we all have a time management problem. Yes. This man works 12 hours a day. I, I just wish you had some time to, you know, get up a little earlier and do your sit-ups and your push-ups and, and do a little cardio. So you just have to make the time. You have to make the time. You really do. And, and I, and Talon I, and Jackson I on Kissing Country, 103.9 Country Boy. It's 7-Eleven. <laughs> With the waking crew. I'm here with Bruce. And Richard Simmons. <laughs> and my friends. And it's an interesting Hey, Richard, morning. why are you here in Edmonton? Hey, Bruce, Richard, why are you here in Edmonton? Edmonton? Oh. You're here for the health and wellness show. I'm just, just bizarre to me that I'm standing beside you because two nights ago, I saw you on the Ellen Show at Mardi Gras. And then you went to New York, and now you're in Edmonton. With his head on your shoulder. <laughs> well, I travel a lot because, as you know, we have a big weight problem in the United States. A big obesity problem with our children, adults, just like here in Canada. Mm -hmm. And a lot of people not exercising, a lot of people not eating healthy, and they're just ruining their health and their body. So that's why God made me, so I could come and travel all around the country. I'm going to be at the Health and Fitness Expo tonight at the Mayfield uh, Center, and I'm going to have a class at 6 o'clock. But there's, a, there's an unbelievable expo with 150 booths, all to teach you how to live better, how to have longevity, how to have a lot of energy, and how to feel good about yourself. I love you because aside from the tank top with the sparkles, you really get people's attention. Like, we all want to be healthier, but you actually kind of sink into our brains and make us say, wait a minute, we got to do something. You know, I've been doing this for 35 years. I was 200 pounds in the eighth grade, almost 300 pounds when I graduated high school. I'm a compulsive eater. I mean, I love food. And you look hot. at you, you're so fit. I love food cold. <laughs> I love food that has fallen on the floor. I have stolen food from starving children. And I'm not, I'm not a That's a little harsh. No, you're but I don't care. care. I love food. food wearing a blue sweater. And, 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 so, and so I combat that by working out every day and trying to eat the best that I can eat. Yeah. And trying to stay as positive as I can. And it all begins with self worth. If you don't really care for yourself and you don't love you, you're not going to take care of you. And you're not going to eat healthy, and you're certainly not going to exercise. But my message here is you get one life. Why not start? People are afraid of the word start. Come tonight to the Health and Fitness Expo. Come to the Mayfield Center and see what we have to offer. And come take a class. I'm teaching a great sweat into the oldest class. There'll be hundreds and hundreds of people. I'm not only teaching the class, I'm going to teach people how to exercise because I think most people don't. <laughs> and it's about fun, right? You make it fun, you make it interesting. <laughs> Well, oh my, this is just getting weird. <laughs> He's kind of embracing Bruce. People say they don't have time. And you just have to make time. You know, I got up at 4.30 this morning time. just to get my workout in, my personal workout in. And, you know, it is. You have to, you know, if you're on the computer too much, on the phone too much, you take 20 minutes here, 10 minutes here, you put it together, and you have enough time for a workout. Those five or six butt squeezes I did, is that enough for me for the day? No. Sorry. You remind me of Damien. Did you see... Um, the like movie, the movie Damien? The, yeah, the Damien. You have little evil eyes. The little hell child? <laughs> yeah, it, a little evil eyes. He's got your back. I don't know where they came from. But I'm actually, a little hungover and offended. Oh, well, last night they showed The Exorcist, and I saw those eyes uh, on the screen. Switch there. from his eyes to his butt for a minute. Did, Pardon me? <laughs> She's cracking herself up. Look at this beauty. What does Sean need to do here? He's I'm fine. No, Sean is a great guy. He's married. He has two beautiful No, children. I'm not married. Whatever. Well, there we go. In a hole. <laughs> uh, maybe that was a little to too much. <laughs> okay, <laughs> now he's got two kids and he's not married. Hey, well, these things happen here, and we just have to move on because, hey, what can I say? Nothing. Nothing. That's pretty much it, yeah. Jenny, can people, you have to pre register, don't you? No, no well, you come to the. Yeah. Just Jenny's come. here. Jenny, 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 baby. <laughs> 
Come to the Mayfield. You Just know come. where it is. Come, uh, come a little early so I can get to meet you. And our class will start at six o'clock. But don't forget, we have an expo with 150 booths that are going to teach you how to take care of yourself and be more healthy. Awesome. You know, Richard, you've saved lives. Give me your nose. Give me your nose. Give me your nose. I've got lots. There's a lot of it there. I did that because I watched the we, commercial we on were, a Canadian station because Pinocchio is coming out again. We, we, were, <laughs> we were rubbing When noses. you wish upon a nose. And we were still three feet apart. Yep. Yeah, that was awesome. <laughs> fun to watch. Well, this has been so much fun. Let me again thank you for having Richard, me on. thank you. And, and why are you leaving? No, you are. Oh, oh yeah, you didn't have to push me out the door you, like you that. Got, you've got another no. interview. So. Uh, but, uh, oh, hey, look who came. Hey, how you doing, buddy? <laughs> <laughs> that's right. That's <laughs> right. <laughs> Dick Simmons over there. How you doing? Whoa, I'm in a fall on my chest. <laughs> oh, he scares me. Oh, my God, he's the Incredible Hump, but he's not green. Look at him. <laughs> Anyway, I'm inviting all of your listeners to come to the expo, have a good time, learn about your health, and come take a class with me. <laughs> all right, awesome. Thank you, Rich. Well done. Oh. Great honor to have you here. I'm being pushed out. Yes. Yeah, no, you go to all right, bye, everybody. Okay, bye. bye, Richard. Oh. Bye. bye. All right, Chad, you're going to get bye, us. Bye, there now. Too. Thank you. Take care. So you too, buddy. Thank On you. the day that you were born, the <laughs> oh, angels my. got together. <laughs> oh, my. The word is coming up in a minute or something's going to happen. We don't know what. Something's going to happen. God bless you. Okay, here we are.